Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at Amaze Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another subscriber request. And today's question was, can you model gears? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right. We're going to start off in our polygon menu and we're going to create a simple polygon pipe. We're going to drag that out, pull that up. And then we're going to go into our attribute editor and we're going to tweak some settings. Okay. Now for subdivisions, I'm going to go with 50. I'm going to bring down the, or bring up actually the uh, thickness to, let's do 4.5. Yeah, that looks about right. And for caps, we will do four. There we go. All right, cool. Then we're going to go in and we are going to right click, go to face. And we're going to select these rows and the same from this end. And we're going to go to edit mesh, extrude under face, hit R. And we're going to push that in to about there. All right. OK, cool. Next, we're going to right click on object mode. Make sure that our translate values are set to zero, like that. And then we're going to go in and we are going to select, right click face, one, two, three, and four. Let's see what's most symmetrical. That's actually pretty good. Okay. With those selected, we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude Face. We're going to hit W, and we're going to push them back in until we are about there. All right. Now, as you can see, that creates a little issue that we need to fix. So we're going to go and right-click Face, and we're going to select these faces and these faces, and we're going to hit Delete. All right, let's just check that. All right, that's cool. And then we're going to select these faces and these. We're going to hit delete. And then we're going to right click, go to edge, select that top edge, and go to mesh and fill hole. And we'll do the same on the bottom to repeat all right so we've got that cool then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna select every other face so right click face select one and go around like that and I'll just pause the video while we're doing that uh, hang on all right so those are all selected we're gonna go up to edit mesh extrude under face under thickness, we'll do 0 0.8. And then in offset, we'll pull that down to, let's try 0 0.1. Eh, maybe a bit more. Let's do 0 0.2. That looks slightly better. All right. Then we're going to go in. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. Where do you go? Oh, under Mesh Tool, sorry. Yep option box multiple and uh, let's see we will do um yeah we'll do two we'll add them right there and we'll add them right there hit q on your keyboard right click face we're going to select that face row and that face row and we're going to go to edit mesh extrude under face hit r and we're going to push that in until we get a nice edge up there and one down there. All right, cool. Let's close this out. Now we're going to set our gear up straight. So we're going to hit E to rotate, hold down J to create steps. So we're at 90. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create an axle. So we'll take a polygon cylinder bring that up 
let's set our subdivisions to 40. E to rotate. Let's hold down J. Let's see. Minus 90. There we go. We're going to move that into place. So hit 4 for wireframe mode and W. And then we're going to just snap that. We're going to hit R. We're going to yep, just turn that off. Um, let's see. That may be an issue down here. Let's try that again. There's some setting here that's bugging me for some reason. Just give me one sec, guys. Just going to reset that tool. There we go. OK. So we're going to bring that in. Close that guy down. And now down here we have the opening that we need to fill in, if you will. So we're going to right click. We're going to go to vertex. We're going to take these three. Hit W. not playing ball for some reason. Okay, let's see. Just give me a sec, guys. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're going to bring these down and we're going to hit R and we're going to scale them out until we are very close to that edge. And then we're going to individually manipulate them. We're going to bring that one in and give it a little bit of space and then we'll take these two and bring them up to about there all right so that will give us this now we're going to make our axle a bit longer so we're going to go to object mode we're going to hit r and we're going to stretch that out and then we're going to hit w and move that in like so we're going to add two edge loops. So we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box. We still are on multiple. So we're going to, actually I'm going to go with single so I can manually put them in. And we'll do one there and one there. Q on your keyboard. Right click face. Just going to select those. Edit Mesh Extrude under face. Hit R and scale that out. That looks all right. And now we're going to right click, go to object mode. And we're just going to hit W and push that back a little bit. All right, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. OK, now that we've got all that stuff, we're going to select the whole deal. Mesh, combine, modify, center pivot edit delete by type history and modify free transformation there we go we're gonna actually before we're gonna copy this we're gonna add some materials to it okay so what we'll do here is we will first go to injured edge loop tool multiple two and we'll do two right there Q on our keyboard, right click face, drag select those, edit mesh and extrude. We'll hit R and we'll scale that in just a little bit. Okay. We're going to right click object mode, select the whole deal, right click assign new material, MIA material X. Go to the material tab, presets, chrome and replace. And now we're going to tweak some details here. Okay. So we're going to go to object mode, right click face, drag select, hit shift and period to increase our selection. And there we go. Right click, assign new material, the same material, go to presets 
and go to Chrome and we'll do a blend of 25% and then we'll bring the slider down to make that a bit darker and we'll call this material black chrome all right there we go then we're going to apply that same material to some areas over here so that's mainly going to be in this area There we go. Nothing else selected, hopefully. Right click assign existing material, black chrome. And then we are going to switch to this view, hit five, right click object mode, control D to duplicate. We're gonna move that over. And I'll just uh, close this down so we can see it better. We're going to hit E and we're going to rotate it quite a bit because I don't want these axles to face in the same direction. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's just check that to make sure. Okay. So then we're going to hit W and we're going to bring it in. And actually, let's make this a bit more interesting. We'll move it over here. Okay. And then we'll hit Control D once again. Pull that up. Have to zoom in. And we're going to hit E and rotate it a bit. Because again, I don't want that uh, axle to be in the exact same location. And we'll do this. All right. So with all that said and done, drag select all this stuff, mesh combine, we're going to hit W, we're going to move it up a little bit, and we're going to create a ground plane, now let's just uh, scale that out, we're going to go to our render settings, Mental Ray, of course. I'm going to go to Indirect Lighting, select Global Illumination and Final Gathering, and select Image Based Lighting. In my Quality tab, 1.5. In my Common tab, let's do HD 1080. And then I'm going to go back to my um, HDRI image selection. And uh, let's see, I'm in the right directory, which is cool. We'll do this one here, see what that looks like. Okay, that's cool. Let's apply some material to our ground plane. And we'll go with a uh, Fong E, make that white. And let's set up one additional light source. So I'm going to go to lights. Let's do one point light. Pull that up. Hit seven on our keyboard. So we can kind of see what's going on. And then we're going to set up our uh, resolution gate. And let's give this a go. So I think everything is all set up. So I'm just going to pause the video. And while I hit render, and I'll see you guys when it's done. Hey guys, well, as you can see, here's our final render. It uh, looks uh, okay, I think. So um, these are the basic uh, methods to model gears, and uh, obviously there are a lot of different types of gears, so be creative with that. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you liked the video, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, and comment. And that said, thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys again. Thank you. Bye.